What is going on guys? So I wanted to come back through a few months later. If you go back in my videos uh, a couple months ago, I did an initial review on the Tucker Glide Water Fed Pole Brush. It's newest brush that's hit the market. Tucker is the originator of water fed. They've been around the longest, they have been in manufacturing the longest, and um, they just came out with a brush that's made out of a synthetic material. Okay, this is it. This is the original one, okay, that I got. I think it's like 10 inch. I think, you know, I had a, I had issues at first with how short the bristles were, because I'm, I'm coming from a gardener taper tech, which um, the bristles were a lot longer, and they were able to spread out a lot more um, to hit those corners a little bit better. But, um, but I'm, I'm, you know, this this brush has impressed me so much. I've pretty much everything I've thrown at it. You know, this thing is eight through. I even I can remember even an instance. Um, I had some sticky material like from a sticker or something like that, and I you know pre rinsed it, pre soaked it, and came back through. Man, it took me a couple times, but this thing got it off. And you can see the difference here. So this is a new one that I got not too long ago. I've maybe had a dozen houses on this one, right? So this is the newer one, and you can see the difference of the two okay so you 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 do lose you you do lose some height on the bristles um you're seeing a little bit of discoloration of the bristles but i still think you know this one's got some life in it for sure um i've i think i do like 70 to 100 houses a month um solo so um, that thing has seen some some houses. I'm probably up to I don't know four or five hundred houses on this thing um, since March, but um, You know, it's 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 done a fabulous job and I honestly think right now it is the breast best water-fed pole brush on the market and um, I think you know, I think Tucker nailed it. The glide is what's so phenomenal on this guys like the scrubbing power is great but the res but the resistance that it gives you is almost non-existent short of it hitting some like hard water stains or just something that it kind of like that you're not going to get off anyway without a chemical for maintenance cleans this brush is killing it i i just I, i've used the taper text from gardner i've used the bore hair i've used the zeros i've used all of those and right now i'm sticking with this one I am sticking with this one and I can't wait for any alterations they make to it. Um, I'm not a big rinse bar guy, but I mean, stick a rinse bar on this, it'd probably be even more more beneficial glide wise. But I mean, I have noticed a couple, kind of like the boar hair, you're, you, you're not losing nearly as much bristles, um, you know, getting caught in the frames and stuff, but I have noticed a couple, uh, and when I say a couple, like five, okay, times, where I can be like, oh, I lost a bristle there, um, sometimes garage door door windows or um, you know certain frames that are just too pronounced that kind of catch or it really depends on how aggressive you're going if you're going super super aggressive say you got a corner that you know is gnarly and you are trying to get in there and you're brushing 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 and you're trying to you know try to get it all in there like you're gonna lose a bristle or two okay but it's nothing compared to the boar hair and I think this is better than boar hair because you're not killing your shoulders you're not killing your you know your 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 traps and all that trying to get into um, you know certain corners and stuff and you got the resistance from that boar hair boar hair does a great job at scrubbing it really does but you are notab noticeably affected more so on the boar hair with the resistance all day long if you stack all that resistance up that you've you felt all day long you're gonna be a little, a little bit more tired this Tucker Glide gives you the Scrubbing power, it gives you the 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 glide, okay? Zero resistance, almost zero resistance. It's unbelievable. You almost gotta catch it sometimes, cause like if you're going at a at a window and stuff and you even look somewhere or whatever, that, that thing will slide around so much. But I really think right now, props to Tucker. This thing is my favorite brush on the market. I will continuously use it. I gotta go buy a couple more. I have used the bigger one on um on um, you know bigger glass on commercial phenomenal I went up to four and a half stories the other day with them just did just did a really really great job so props to Tucker 
I am still impressed. It's still got life in it after, you know, four or 500 homes. Um, definitely getting your money out of it, right? I mean, it's like 130 bucks. Um, and I've used this one most of the season. So I, I can definitely see them, you know, realistically getting you through at least half a season, um, depending on how many houses you do a day. I do three to four houses a day. So you're talking 80 to 100 windows a day that I'm scrubbing with this thing. And um, so, you know, do that math and you're talking 10,000 windows. I don't know. A lot of windows. And this thing still has life into it. When it gets to a point where, like, I have to start messing with the neck on this in order to get to certain angles and stuff, then that's when I'm going to see, okay, this is, I'm going to have to replace it. But like, even if I replace it right now, it still made me money. It still made, it's still worth the, the, you know, the investment. And if you're using water fed, get a Tucker glide, tell them I sent you, grab a couple. You will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. So yeah, there's my update. Loving it. I'll do another one at the end of the year. At the end of the season, we will sit down again and I will show you the brushes. I'll give you my honest opinion. And um, I mean, even even how evenly this is, this is, you know, I tend to, I think, favor the bottom. So you can tell the bottom is a little bit more, um, well, sorry, wrong side. Bottom is over here. So you can see it. I mean, it, wore, it all depends on your cleaning style, right? So... Like you can see this one is perfect, right? Almost perfect. Bristles, and then you gotta go to this one. It's a little uneven, but I mean, pretty decent. It depends how you brush, where you're putting the brush on the glass, how hard you're scrubbing. That's another thing. You don't need to scrub that hard with these things. I mean, I, I'm seeing very little downside to this. Um, I always probably tend to go a little bit more harder scrub than I should, but it keeps me from going back on certain things. I pre-soak a lot more. I, you know, usually I'll pre-soak one of the windows ahead of me, but, uh, but all in all guys, glide knocks out of the park. Get you a Tucker glide brush. You will not be disappointed. Thanks.